Hello, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. Uh, just an update. This is going to probably be the last video I do for quite a while. I am uh, found a place to move, and I think I'm going to do it. I see no reason not to, so I guess it's time to move. I'm going to get out of uh, South Florida, so enough of that. Listen, um, I want to read a couple of Bible verses to you, and you probably see these stars, so let's take a look. Now, little background. Uh, the first one is in the book of Amos, chapter 5. It is the Old Testament, which the churches love to tell you, oh, that's the books of the Jews. So, let's, uh, let's take a look here. Now, this is talking about when they were wandering in the wilderness for 40 years with Moses after they came out of Egypt, the Passover. So, Amos chapter 5 and verse 25. This is, Have ye offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness 40 years, O house of Israel. Gee, I don't read the word Jew there, but, uh, you know, you know, they just take Israel and insert the word Jew. The churches do. I don't, but they do. Verse 26. But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch. Now, what was Moloch? Moloch was the satanic god of, uh, well, basically the devil, and required, this devil required them to kill their children by burning them alive. Oh yeah, you can read about it, how they passed their children through the fire of Moloch. Now, how's that for an abortion? You know, this is what, Israel actually did. And you wonder why God got mad at them. Oh, yeah. But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Chiun, your images. The star, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. Now, let me ask you a question. What star do the Jews carry? The six-pointed star. You're going to see a lot of them. Okay, so, but ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Chion, your images, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. See, they made the star of the, their God, not the Lord. No, they made it. Uh, he says, Therefore will I cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus, saith the Lord, whose name is the Lord of hosts. Now, the next star that you're going to see is from Acts chapter 7. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, let's go to Acts chapter 7, verse 40. Saying unto Aaron, remember Aaron with Moses made the golden calf, and that's why Moses got mad and broke the Ten Commandments. So, all right. So, verse 40, saying unto Aaron, make us gods, plural, idols, people, make us gods to go before us. But as for this Moses, which brought us out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what has become of him. And they made a calf in those days and offered sacrifice unto the idol and rejoiced in the works of their own hands. You see, God took them out of Egypt, trying to take Egypt out of them. But no, they want to do what the Egyptians did, right? All right, verse 42. Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven. Now, a host of heaven is 
basically, it's the, it's the fallen angels, people. Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets, O ye house of Israel, have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of 40 years in the wilderness. Now this is the New Testament. Yea, verse 43, Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch, and the star, and the star of your god, Rempham, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Now, the uh, there's a guy that's standing before the uh, six-pointed star. If you look him up, his name is B.B. Netanyahu. Yeah, he's a Yahoo, all right. And uh, the uh, six-pointed star is the symbol of the Israeli flag, okay? And you got pictures of, hey, Donald Trump with shaking hands with this guy uh, in front of the flag. Now, take a look at all the police badges with six-pointed stars. Whose law are we under? Remember when police used to be called peace officers, as in war and peace, P-E-A-C-E? -E? They used to be called peace officers. Now they're called law enforcement. Whose law? What laws? Are we under Talmudic law? The Noahide laws? That's N-O-A-H-I-D-E. Take a look at what it is, people. Better yet, uh, take. there's two words I want you to Google, and they have to be Googled together. Look up Noahide, one word, N-O-A-H-I-D-E, and then space, and then the second word, Yeshu, Y-E-S-H-U, those are the two words, and then read the article, and then you'll know how the kosher ones, how they feel about Jesus. They call him Yeshu, which is, uh, may his name be blotted out. So, you know, what can I tell you? But all these police agencies have six-pointed stars. And matter of fact, there's one that has the three badges, that, uh, that is from Chicago. That was back in the, you know, like the 1890s and 1910s era. Even back then. And back in those days, Chicago was the largest city in the United States because of all the rail yards. Uh, if you wanted to ship uh, your cattle, you had to go through Chicago. So... It wasn't until the uh, era of the steel steamship that New York City overtook Chicago as the largest city in the United States. Um, so now it's New York is number one. It has a population of the tribe of about 2 million, or about 25% of the population. Second largest city is Los Angeles. That's the second largest population of the tribe. Chicago, I don't know how many live in Chicago, but South Florida has the third largest population of the tribe, and that's why I want to get out of here. Um, I go by, drive by a Kabbalah Center quite often when I'm going home from work. And if you don't know what Kabbalah is, K-A-B-B-A-L-A-H, look it up. It's magic and witchcraft masquerading as um, an Abrahamic religion of the Old Testament. I shudder to say the word, but uh, yeah. So, all right. Well, people, I'm going to be moving. So, you know, if you don't hear from me for a while, hopefully the Lord uh, blesses what I'm going to be doing. Uh, pr please pray for me. And hopefully he gives me protection. But, you know, ultimately the Lord's in control. 
And, uh, you know, <laughs> I've known what's been coming to this country and the Christian church since at least 1990. So, and I've lived my life. So, you know, what can I tell you? So, stay close to Jesus, people. It's getting to be really insane. Oh, by the way, there's a, a Nigerian, he, the, uh, a black from Nigeria. He's a rapper. I believe he lives in Sweden. And he's calling for the death of all whites. Isn't that just precious? Here it is. He's a refugee from Nigeria. They take him to Sweden. He moves from a black country, which is a third world excrement hole, to Sweden, and then he wants to kill all the people that makes uh, civilization possible. Isn't that wonderful? So, what can I tell you? All right, uh, Chaplain Bob signing off. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Amen.